Right then, I'm going to show you how to quickly place multiple images together in one document and composite them using mask layers. So to start with, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to import from my photos library. And it's these three images here of a light painting scene that I did. So I'm going to start with the base or background layer. OK, and then I'm going to place the subsequent images on top of this one. Now, before we go ahead and do that, I'm just going to make sure snapping is enabled. To do that, we tap the document menu up here and choose snapping. OK, so in my case, it's enabled, but we can just toggle it by tapping it like so. So make sure it's enabled before trying to place images because it will make it a lot easier to align them. So then, if I go to the command menu and choose place, I'll choose place image. That opens up the photos library, so I'll just choose one of these two images with the light painting in it. OK, and I can either drag it onto my current canvas or I can just tap once to place it. Then we've automatically got the Move tool selected, so we can simply drag it in. And because I've got snapping enabled, I can just plonk it straight on top, like so. Now, that will appear on the Layers Studio as a placed image, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and do Place, Place Image again, and grab the other image, this one. So once again, I'll just tap anywhere on the canvas to place it. then. I'll just drag to align it. Great, so we've now got all three images in our document. Now we need to mask them to create a composite. So I'm going to hide the topmost layer, select the second layer here, and I'm going to add a mask layer through this option. OK, so what I'm going to do is invert the mask layer and then paint back onto it to gradually reveal this area of light painting. So to do that, make sure we've got the mask selected, move across to the channel studio. We've got layer mask alpha here. So I just tap the icon next to it and choose invert. OK, good. So I'll move back over to the layer studio, ensure I still have the mask selected. Then I want to choose the paintbrush tool. OK, so I'll set a suitable width. Then on the colour here, I want to set this to a pure white. And that will reveal on the layer mask. So all I do is just paint onto the mask like so. To gradually reveal that second image. OK now, so same procedure for the top image. I'll just show it. Go ahead, add a new mask layer, go to the Channel Studio, invert the mask. Then, same as before, I'll just paint in to the areas that I want to reveal. OK, so to do the opposite, or hide areas on a mask layer, we simply change the colour to black. And I'm just going to paint out that area there. OK, so another little technique here is we can see these areas are lower in contrast, and there's a bit of a tonal mismatch. Now this is easily solved by adding a new adjustment layer. So across on the Adjustment Studio, I'll add a Brightness and Contrast adjustment. Now, by default, this is added as a new parent layer. What we need to do is clip it to each of these light painting image layers. So to do that, we just tap, hold, offer it to one of these until we get that blue overlay, and then release. OK, so what we can then do is go ahead and increase the contrast. And as we can see, it's only affecting the masked area of that image. There we go, it just helps it blend in to the background image. So again, same procedure with the other light painting image. Add a brightness contrast adjustment, tap, drag, clip it to that image layer, and there we go.
So then, if the Layers Studio is starting to look a little busy for our tastes, we can collapse these either by tapping the little disclosure icons here or double tapping the layer itself. So I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of final techniques to round off this image tonally. First of all, I'm going to add an HSL adjustment. I'm going to target on the range here yellows and just reduce the overall saturation of them. Then in addition to that, I'm going to add a channel mixer adjustment. And even though we're working in RGB as a color format, what I can do is on the color space, I can move across to lab. And this gives me the opportunity to move across to the B opponent channel. And what I'm going to do is just mix A opponent with B opponent, like so, to create more of a stylized look. Again, I can scrub the opacity here to mix between a full strength effect and almost halfway. And that is about it. I hope that's given you a little insight into how mask layers work. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.